Right, oh, well today is a little bit of an exciting video. Today, I'm just waiting on Shane to turn up. Shouldn't be too far away and we're heading down to Sydney to pick up, or to have a look at and potentially pick up, uh, a new mower. Now, it's not brand new, it's new to me. Uh, as I've mentioned in a couple of videos not too long ago, as all my areas over here and, and this area here continue to grow and continue to need real mowing, I need something a bit bigger to buy back a bit of time. So today, thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. We'll head down to Sydney, we'll have a look at this mower, and um, I'm sure you'll be pretty impressed with it because I'm really excited. Right, so we got home late last night. It was a four hour trip down, a little bit of a longer trip home with traffic and a couple hours while we sort of talked with the previous owner. So here it is, we got to unload it now. We had a lot of rain overnight, so about 30, about 30 mils overnight and it's just way too wet to even give it a run right now. So we'll unload it off the trailer and I'll park it up around the back and we might have a little walk around and have a look at some of the features of it.
It's actually a week today since I picked the machine up and I haven't actually had a chance to do anything with it. And I, I did actually have another part of the video filmed, but when I was playing through the edit, I didn't really like it. So I thought I'd do the walk around part again. Uh, I noticed I put a few little teaser videos up and a few people said, oh, you know, it's the same as, as the mower that Connor's got. Now, it's not exactly true. It's similar in the sense that similar design, three reels, three wheels, etc. So the basic difference is this here is a Toro Greens Master 3250. And these are built predominantly to be greens mowers. Um, but then some courses will actually use them on tees when they've got a really high quality tee. Um, and whereas something like what Connor's got, is probably more predominantly tees and fairways so it's a more heavy duty machine this is more a precision machine the 3250 such as this one and the 3150 which is a petrol variant will cut a little bit cleaner but the other machines are more rugged and more durable on rougher terrain so that wasn't really something that bothered me i was after the quality of cut so that's why i specifically was looking for a used uh, greens mower so they're, they're the main differences but essentially um, yeah I look for the casual observer very very similar machine uh, let's have a little walk around I'll take you around some of the features and at the end of the video I did actually end up getting a uh, having a bit of a play uh, on the front yard with it even though nothing was coming off due to the height but let's just have a look around at it and I'll say show you some of the features and uh, some of that sort of stuff What we've got here is three individual floating heads. Each reel is 11 blades, which is probably a bit of a sweet spot for me. My plan going forward would be to have this set at about eight to 10 millimeters for my front yard. And as I said, going forward, as I head into the back yard with this as well, once all this lawn here is uh, improved and the ability to reel mow, which I wouldn't have been able to do from a time perspective. So really excited to have this machine here. Everything on this particular machine is driven by hydraulics. From the cutters, to the drive of the wheels, to the steering, to the lift. Everything here is hydraulics. Some of the newer machines now feature uh, electric hybrid technology, so there's electric uh, reel motors and things like that. I'm quite content with this one here being fully hydraulic. Uh, it's just less to go wrong in, in a uh, electronic sense and getting hydraulic parts for me around here is far easier than trying to source potentially expensive uh, electric components. So, happy with that. Drive is to the two front wheels and third wheel drive is available as an option on steeper ground. Now, here I don't think I'm gonna to need to go down that road, but um, it's nice to know if I wanna fit it later on, I, I can. So we'll just wait and see how that plays out on the, particularly the house side of the front, it's a bit steeper but uh, it should be it should be okay, but we'll, we'll wait and see. One thing I did forget to mention actually uh, when we're talking about the reels, this machine has been actually fitted with the optional rear uh, roller brush. So when the reel turns around, this, these brushes here are also connected by a little belt and they just basically keep the roller clean of any grass and build up. And that basically, especially on a green situation, it keeps the um, it keeps the thing cutting at the correct height. So that's a really cool little feature to have. That's not standard. It is a factory option, but um, yeah, pretty happy it's on there. So first plans for me will be obviously taking these reels off, send them, sending them down to be ground. I want to start this season off 100% uh, right. So we'll get them sharpened. We'll get them set at my cutting height for the season, which I think will be, as I said before, eight to ten mils. I'm gonna order myself a new seat through Scone Outdoors. And that was one of the reasons uh, I wanted a Toro machine. Well, one of the reasons, mainly this is one of the machines I used to spend my days on when I was a greenkeeper. So we actually had the 3100, which was the model before this. Uh, and I remember as an apprentice, we, one of these came out to us one day for a demo. So yeah, I'm really, really familiar with these machines and I, I sort of, I guess, had an attachment to them and I wanted to get one. So that's why I looked at that over other brands. So yeah, I'll order a new seat. I've got to order a new screen here for the radiator, being a three-cylinder diesel, they're a liquid-cooled motor, so I need to do that. And um, I will get it checked over as well, so she's right to go. But it's done, what's it done? About 2,900 hours, which for a 2010 model is actually not a lot of hours, I think. So not a bad, not a bad machine at all. I'll flip the seat up, we'll give you a look under there, and because um, obviously that's where the motor's hiding. 
Righto, so tucked in under this hydraulic oil tank is our motor. As I said, it's a three-cylinder diesel made by Daihatsu and um, stickered, I guess, so uh, stickered Briggs & Stratton. So basically, I'd say what's happening here is at the time, Daihatsu was supplying the motors for Briggs & Stratton. Okay, this, this, this here is kind of interesting, really. So this, is, this does a few things. Number one, this machine has onboard backlapping. So all I do is flick this switch here and that'll turn the reels in reverse so I can actually do sharpening on this machine without actually taking the reels off which is kind of sweet to do between grind so I'll obviously send it off for grind and then if I want to do little on the fly back laps I just flick this switch here and happy days now the other thing that's going on way down here is there's a sticker down here and it's got a few different things going on it's got a picture of a five blade reel an eight blade reel 11 blade reel as well now what you do is you set whatever height you're at so I will say here 9.5 is the closest to us so then we're going to work out which reel we've got so in this case 11 blade reel and it'll tell us here what speed we want to set those reels to spin so this is all this machine it's traction speed in other words it's traveling speed and it's uh, reel speed are all determined from what height you've got the mower set so this thing is ultra configurable so around this side now, we've got our engine air filter, which is very easy to um, remove. In fact, it's uh, it's like brand new, so pretty happy with that. Uh, that just goes in there. Got a little mini, I guess, snorkel. Uh, that pops back in there like that. Clips on. Like that, happy days, obviously exhaust. This is hydraulic. Um, this, is, this is our hydraulic pump, which drives the whole system. This is our steering ram here for our rear wheel steering, so obviously, um, we've got our two front wheels drive and our rear wheel is a passive wheel and it's a steering wheel. So that's how that, that's how it maneuvers and it is extremely, extremely nimble. So we do actually also have height adjustment for the uh, steering wheel, right? So that's down for obviously storage or um, shipping, I would imagine. And you can just set it to whatever you want. So that's that one there. Around the front here, we've got our uh, driving lights at the front. Obviously when this thing started its life as a golf course, on a golf course, I should say, it would have been mowing fairly early in the morning, especially weekends, so obviously light, good lighting is important. And, and these machines had reasonable lighting for the day. Obviously, being 2010, they're not LED, but um, still gives that a reasonable amount of light. So I can't, think, I, I can't imagine that I'm gonna be using them a great deal, but, but you never know. Okay, so this is our main control panel here. Um, simply got key, a couple of warning lights here. One's a glow plug light, high engine temperature, battery light and low oil pressure. This one here, this switch here, is in case you get an engine overheat. It has a protection system, so basically if you hold this down, it'll give you uh, the ability to drive this to a, a better location if you're stuck on a green or something like that. Once again, I'm not gonna be working the machine hard enough for it to ever get that hot, I'm sure. Uh, lights on, lights off. And this is here, this is what lowers and raises our cutting reels. So um, yeah, that's what it goes. And obviously we've got throttle over here and our, uh, our speed selector. So neutral, mowing or slow traction speed or transport speed, which obviously goes a lot quicker. Our meter, uh, next service due at 3,100 hours.
really, really stoked with this. It's gonna be an absolute game changer and um, really excited to uh, show you guys a bit more about it as, as time goes on. Anyway guys, look, we'll wrap the video up here. Hope you've enjoyed my little trip to Sydney to pick up a new toy and we'll catch you here next time on the Aussie Lawn.